Good morning, folks, and welcome to A Zero. All right, guys, good morning. Um, I figure, you know, I never really show you guys what a, a zero looks like. Um, so to my family, technically, a zero is where you do not hike any miles at all. Um, and I did hike some miles yesterday, and then called a shuttle into Dun, into Dun, you know, into Delaware Water Gap, and uh, and last night I did stay at the church. I didn't stay in the bunk room. I just pitched my tent out, literally in their parking lot, um, and so. I didn't charge anything. I just walked in and took a shower, and I didn't charge anything. I didn't do anything else. Um, they didn't even have a refrigerator. But, you know, it was a great spot. If you just need a spot to stop at, charge your stuff, take a shower, and keep getting it, it's perfect for that, you guys. Um, but, man, when I tell you the smell of feet, oh, it's not even feet. It's the smell of stinky hiker shoes. Um, God, when you walk in, that just, it hits you and knocks you down. It's like, whoa. Um, because I know my shoes stink. And, but that place, man, you know, they, that place smelled like my, um, my waterproof ultras. <laughs> when, I, when I took them out in 2020 for that little stint through Georgia. And I came back and they smelled so bad, I had to let them air out for a year before I'd even bring them inside the house. So, um, you know, that's what it smelled like. Imagine that times like five. Oh, it was terrible. Um, it took, for me, it took my breath away. And so I had to, I had to walk. I had to, I went to pitch my tent outside and I just laughed. I'm like, God, we, hiker funk is like, man, hiker feet funk is the worst. I'm not sure what's worse, the underarm smell or the feet smell. No, definitely the feet smell. Definitely the feet smell. Just bad. Um, but it, but I mean, other than that, I mean, it's a great spot. You know, I think all the churches along the way that have a little hiker room, it, it's, it's nice. Um, but it, but it was small. The room itself was small. You know. And and so that messed with my PTSD, so I set my tent up outside. But um I mean they even had they even had a little shelter back there. Like they had like a a, a three sided lean to. I mean it looked just like an AT shelter built in the in their back. So like even if even if their bunk room is full, there you can go sleep in the shelter. So I thought it was really cool. Um but came on over here to the hotel and cause they have a pool. I gotta swim in a pool. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not going to swim naked. Um, but, so, I came on over here early just to see if I could go ahead and get a room in. And I got one, of course. Um, but I figure I'll take you guys into and show you what a zero looks like for me. Mm, just all sh Had too much coffee. Alright, so, naturally, when I come in, my pack explodes. So, let's see. So, this is that uh, Clarion Hotel. It's weird. They have two hotels. It's a Clarion and a Bay Baymont or whatever. So, I think I'm in the Clarion. I don't know. I just walked into the, the door. I said, give me a room. It was 80 bucks with tax and everything. So, I'm not complaining. Um, one of the first things I do is I take my sleeping bag out. Let's pack it up. Take my sleeping bag out and I hang it up. So, that way... Number one, it can air out because, you guys, this thing stinks. It smells like feet. To me, it smells like feet and dog. Like, and I know it's the feathers in there, but it just, it stinks. It needs to be washed. Um, I even take my air, my rain jacket and air it out. Um, I take the puffy and I always let it air out. Um, I have taken my food out. And laid out like what I have left so I can see what I need for resupply. So I can look at my book and say, this is how far I got to go. 
this is what I need. Um, so I've done that. Um, one of the first things I do, in, and I haven't done my Sawyer water squeeze yet, because it's still early, and I don't want to go banging this, because I'm going to have to bang it. To knock, if you bang it and, like, knock it, it loosens up all kind of stuff, man. All of a sudden, you squeeze it, and leaves come out. So um, I've learned to, to knock it, so it's a little early for that. Um, but I wanted to show you this, and this reminds me of my granny so much. Mm -mm, and Aunt Joan, you'll get a kick out of this one. So, my granny always washed out her Ziploc bags. And she reused them. I mean, if if there was no... You didn't throw one away until it was... Either the seal didn't work on it or something. Like, she, she reused her Ziploc bags. And, you know... I mean, I'm 47, so... My grandma was still alive. She'd be like... 94 I guess 95 and <laughs> and so like she didn't just buy Ziploc bags she reused hers so a box of Ziploc bags could last her forever you know? <laughs> so this reminded me of my granny I washed out um I've been using this one for baked goods so I washed it out this is one I've been using for trash I washed it out and this one I had my tortillas in and I washed it out um, but it just tickles me. I just I feel like my grandma. <laughs> because, you guys, you can wash this out and use it like a 100,000 times. And I know because I've watched my grandma do it for years. Um, look, it even shaped like a little heart. Look. Look. That's how I know my grandma loves me. Hey. Um, and I wash out my C-Knock bag or my Canock bag. I'm, re I'm really trying to, to say the name correctly. It's not. Um, I'll say this to folks who, who may miss things. Um, but we call it, we've always called it here on the East Coast, um, or in the AT world that I've known, is the Seanock bag. Well, it's actually Canock. I was told it's a Scottish word for like flowing water. Um, or a Celtic word, I'm not sure, but it's Canock. Um, and that's, but we, they go out to the PCT days, and, and so if you talk to someone who's been a PCT hiker, they usually call it a Canuck bag, and so, um, anyway, but I love this thing, you guys, this has been a, one of the, probably one of my, it's like, I, it's on my list of, like, five pieces of gear that really surprised me with how effectively they worked, um, it, it this thing has been amazing, I love it, um, it was well worth the purchase. When I come in, I clean it. I can't wait to get home with an old, a old toothbrush and get those in between those little grooves because it drives me insane that there's dirt in there. And you guys, I can scrub and scrub and I can't get that out. So, <laughs> but, um, and that drives me insane. So I can't wait to go home and clean that. But this bag has really been amazing. I wash the inside of it out and the outside um, when I come into town because it does get, like, it gets little pieces of debris and stuff in there. And, and I just wash it because I want to clean. Maybe I've come across some nasty water and I don't realize it. And so, it just is, like, okay. That's my level of cleanliness. Cleanliness. Um, and then here's my, uh, my cold suck container. It, um, I've been cold sucking since I've been out this time. Um, last two times actually that I've come in, I've been cold sucking. So, it's, and, and I like cold soaking. Um, I, I had done it last year and when I started I was actually going to do it but I never could get my food right and things that you would normally cold soak just made my stomach turn so I just I didn't cook anything honestly um, but I'm doing this I'm loving it it's got my little stickers on it <laughs> check out check out a little far out sticker <laughs> got my farm to feed sticker and of course my big Agnes cause um, we love big Agnes and uh, got my fork and my spoon. Um, still loving having both of these. I actually sent that fork home and brought it back out here because I knew it was going to definitely be cold sucking. And the fork, you know, once you pick your appetite picks up, you do, you do, you'll eat that that stuff. And so the fork is just a lot easier for me to eat with in that cold soap container. Um, but if it's a big bag or if it was a Ziploc bag or something like that, the spoon works great. And neither one of them weigh anything. 
And then I actually found this when I was out this last time. And I find crap all the time. Freedom tells me I find just I do, I find gear. Um, but it's a it's a rock bag for um a bear bag kit. And I found it with the rocks in it. And what I love about it is it's gonna make the perfect little container once it dries out to put my mementos in. I mean they're already it's got a couple little holes in it. But I put it in a, um, already put it in a waterproof container. And this should be lighter than the container that my stuff is in at this point. So I may switch it out. Um, I don't know. But either way, it's just good to have an extra rock bag. Um, so it's not like, you know. I mean, hey, leave no trace. I'm doing my part in carrying things out. I do, I find, I just find stuff, you know. I mean, hey, um, but I have, so I have my, uh, this, I purposely carry this so I can clean that, um, but that bottle has got to go, it is, I'm done with it, I don't know how people can get one and carry it all the way, because that little flip top looks like it's got something growing in it, I don't know what that is, look at that, and you guys, look at that, look at that, look at that, that's just disgusting, it could be dirt, it could be, I don't know what it is, but it's got to go. And I just noticed it, and so I noticed everything. So it very possibly could be dirt, but no, it's got to go. Um, so, you know, that that will be dissipated later. Um, you know, and just got all, my, got all my little stuff laid out. This is a bottle I still have from home. I love these little small bottles. They're extremely light. And when you're going through areas, like, let's say you're hiking... You know, in Georgia and stuff, a lot of times you hike through areas, and, um, look, there's got some dirt in it. Um, but they, look how dirty the lid is. God, they get so dirty so quickly. Um, but I love them, and you can't find them anywhere unless someone gives you a bottle of water. So I'm hoping I can run across, like, a bottle of water. I'll probably switch it out just because it just looks like it's had it. And then I've been carrying my water in this Mountain Dew bottle. Um, because it's a little bit bigger than a liter. It's probably heavier, but I did have Mountain Dew in it. So that's the reason why I started carrying it, because I didn't want to throw away my Mountain Dew. But got my stuff charging. <laughs> Check this out. I love this. So I got my pack sitting here, and there's a plug right there. I didn't even, even have to undo my Garmin to charge it. So I got that charging. And naturally, I'm gathering up all the clothes so I can wash them. going to wash those things that go on my feet. Man, my hat. Oh, my God, it's nasty. So I'm going to wash it, too. Um... And I do carry a pod, you guys. That's one thing that, that I picked. It's a habit I picked up since I've been on trail. Is to carry a pod when you catch one. Because if you do, then it, a lot of times you go places. And then you got to buy You got to buy some stuff. But, like, this, these people had the pods for, like, I think it was, like, 50 cents. So I just bought two of them. And, or they might have been a dollar. I don't know. But it was a Tide Pod. So I was like, you can't beat a Tide Pod for a dollar. So I just went ahead and bought two of them. And so I've been carrying it. So I don't know if they have um, detergent. I'm assuming they do. And depending on, uh, I may, uh, I may keep that one. And because I don't have one, but if they have detergent, I may. But if it's like five dollars, then I'll use that Tide Pod. Um, but yeah, got all my, and they have a pool, so I got my bikini top. Um, and and I'm gonna, I think I may go swimming. But I got my stuff over here. Got got that charge in. And of course, you know Mr. Turtle. Mr. Turtle's over here chilling on the bed because Mr. Turtle sleeps with me every night. And of course, even though we're in the hotel, Mr. Turtle's still going to sleep with me because, you know, it's like, it's my stuffed animal. My wife gave it to me. Um, it's representative. It's a uh, design. That, uh, you know, man, I went to high school with design from my tribe. And so, um, you know, I, I hate to say that, well, that's a Lumbee symbol. To me, it is um, uh, because it's a design that is patented and is unique to the maker and to the artist. And he is from the Lumbee Nation. 
So to me, it is a symbol of of who I am and what nation of people I'm from. And um, and and I love that. And I love that, that, you know, I ran cross country with this artist. You know, I know Tim and, and it makes it even more special to me that, you know, he's someone that, you know, I just don't know. Graduated high school with him, you know, I played a, ran, you know, played sports with him, and and um, so it brings me pride to carry that. So, and my wife gave it to me, um, and so, you know, it's it's like for me, it's like carrying my people with me and carrying my wife with me, and um, so, a lot of people have asked, you know, why have I you continue to carry this, you know, this and it's heavy because it. It means a lot to me, and and what it symbolizes, and uh, and so you know, that's my that's my support team at home, my personal support team. Um, that's those people, and that to me this represents all the people in my life that you know that know me personally and support me, and you know that's my that represents to me my my North Carolina family, and. Uh, my Robco family and my wife, and so it's it's my family, it's my personal, it's my intimate family, my in the house family, and my extended family. So, so Mr. Turtle goes with me, and um, Mr. Turtle's chilling up there. He's like, look at his eyes. He's already ready to go to sleep. Look at him, look at him. He got one eye cocked up. Like, man, leave me alone. So, uh, so that's how. Uh, that's what I'm. You do on a zero. You just you break everything down, start cleaning it. And, and getting it ready and like now I have to go find figure out what's up with laundry um, and because I have to do some laundry or I don't have to but I want to I mean like you know to me yeah I just did laundry two days ago three days ago but you guys have been wearing this every day for those last two or three days and so I, I'm out there hiking with people, and they wouldn't do laundry. They would come in here and wouldn't do it, you know. They might rinse it out in the tub and keep getting it. <sighs> but that's why they stink, man. That's why they be stinking, man. Anybody out of the people I see that don't do laundry every chance they get, when you go go by them, they stink, and, and they stay have a, that, that's where the hiker funk that I call, think of as hiker funk. And I don't think it's the hiker. I think it's their, their clothing. And then I'm going to tell y'all something else that stinks. Oh, my God. Like I smell it sometimes, and and it's just whoa, is this pack? I mean, and you guys, you have to think about it. This pack right here, this this right here is is, is like right now it's wet, okay? It's still damp. And I didn't hike any today, and I and I was done hiking yesterday by eleven, and I didn't even really get sweaty yesterday. So it's had a whole twenty four hours now of not being hiked with, and so. <coughs> mm. Ever since I got closer to New Jersey, it might have been scratchy. Something's out here that's bothering me in New Jersey. Um, but that has had 24 hours, and it's still damp. Because that's how bad it's hot out here. You know, you're sweating, and, and I'm being great about hydrating. So I'm just constantly sweating, sweating, sweating. You guys, this thing stinks. And, and I walk thinking of ways... And how in which I am going to clean it. When I get home, it's gonna get like rubbed down with soap, and then I'm gonna spray it with a water hose. And if that don't work, I'm gonna take it to the car wash, and and I'm gonna take it to the car wash, and I'm gonna put the the soap spray on it, and I'm just gonna spray it at the car wash and let it dry out in the sun and see if that does it. Um, but I'm not I'm not giving up on my pack, you know. But man, that that pack, oh my god, it stinks so bad. I just ah, oh, like it it turns my stomach sometimes. So that's gonna be have to be something that when I get home is gonna have to be dealt with. And I've heard people say, oh, I just burned my pack. I burned everything I took. Man, this stuff costs too much money. I mean, maybe if you got just money to just throw away and burn like that. And maybe if that's the only trail you were going to hike is the Appalachian Trail. Maybe you would just burn everything. Man, I ain't burning my stuff. I don't I want to have to rebuy everything. I mean, I'd rather take that couple thousand dollars and 
go on a vacation with my family. <laughs> you know, it's priorities, people. Um, so, you know, I'm going to be, uh, and even, I'm going to, I'm even wash this little thing here out. My, uh, this is another piece of gear that has been amazing, has worked great. I will always, always take one of these. Um, I will say by the time I'm done, I feel like that these, these little pieces right here, I have squished them down. Um, and so I, at some point, you know, I really do think that they do need to be replaced at some point. And, you know, these turn into great sit pads after that. But, uh, but it will definitely last for a through hike, I feel like. And, um, and I'm very curious to see if me taking those four pieces off will make a difference when it's cold. Because if it does, and it, and it doesn't matter that I'm not going to be cold without those four pieces, then I definitely won't be taking those when it gets cold. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, because when it was cold, I had the whole piece. Um, cause I was, I was scared of the cold and I'm becoming less and less scared of the cold. So, um, it's going to be interesting to see how that works. Um, I definitely want to do some like cold, colder hiking just for, you know, a couple sections and stuff like that. Just so I can get more, more and more acquainted with the cold. Cause y'all know I struggled with that, man. I just, I think it's a poor circulation issue. I'm going to have the doctor check it when I get home. Anyway, but I'm going to rinse this off because I feel like it's got some dirt and stuff on it. And uh, just for, you know, blank and giggles. And so, I'm going to do that. We're going to go for a swim. So, pretty much, you guys, like, that's a zero, you know. And then, uh, oh, look at me. It's not in to me. Just, uh, y'all see more. Y'all have seen more body fluids from me than y'all probably ever want to see. Like, that's, that's my trail name. So, if, I'm a, if I ever change it, it's going to be snot. Is it going to be snot, rocket, or blows? <laughs> Something. One of those two. Um, but uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. And, uh, and Shannon is coming to meet me. And they're going to take me to dinner. I think I might have already told you guys this. And uh, there's a Walmart about five minutes from here, lady, and, and things there. So I'm going to check out see how much resupply I need. Because I might want to run to Walmart. Might get sat and take me to Walmart. So, like, that's pretty much my zero. And that's what I'm going to do. And, uh, so, uh, okay. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Might show y'all some other stuff, but, you know. <laughs> tell you guys. I got to tell y'all this, because. Oh, I, I was going to eat. But it clearly going to have to. Might, I might even have to take some Finnegan to fix the nausea, okay? So, I'm, I'm, you know, as you can see, I have all my trusty, you know, I mean, like, hee -hee, you know, this is my my Nike hike, hike naked day, <laughs> night Nike hiking day, <laughs> my hike naked day bay, uh, outfit. Um, it's like I got on a tutu, don't it? My tutu outfit, yeah. Little tutu, tutu. Ow, ow. Anyway, um, so y'all, I'm, you know, I'm down there with to go put my clothes in the dryer. And I go down and there's a, a, a lady who's a section hiking. And, um, uh, she's done like, you know, 1,300 miles of the trail. And, and, um, so we're talking and, and, you know, we're just telling her she's seeing a bear. And, you know, we're just chit chatting and, and so you guys, this hiker comes up and he has on a towel, you know, got a towel around his waist and he's got on, and he's got on, he, all he has on, is he had on was just a towel and a, his rain jacket, but I'm a girl. It was a double standard in, in America for women. Um, we are second class citizens. Um, anyway, but <laughs> But, you know, if I wear this with nothing on underneath it and a towel, I would be considered as explicit because, you know, I would have nipples showing and girls can't walk around with just a towel on. Anyway, so that's what he's got on. But so clearly, you know, you, and he's clearly a hiker. So, you guys, I'm inside 
the, the laundry room and I can see him coming. And y'all, I, and so I start going out. And when he got to me, y'all, oh my God. His hair was wet. And so he could have just like literally just hiked straight in here and he could have been wet from sweat and maybe he hadn't taken a shower yet. And I hope, like, in, in, y'all, I hope on behalf of his mother or father or parent or, if you know, maybe he, he could not have parents. I don't know. But on behalf of somebody, I hope he had just hiked in here. And he was coming to wash his clothes before he got in the shower. That's what I hope. Because you guys, I've smelled some stinky hikers since I've been out here. And y'all, this kid takes the cake. He smelled like Ass, excuse my language, but ass, butt juice. I don't even know what butt juice smells like. Which is <laughs> what you think butt juice would smell like. But he did, he smelled like funk and like, like the way that little sour smell in between your toes. You know, you ever, or like, you know how the inside of your belly button, when you, like, I haven't had this happen since I was a little girl, but when I was a little girl, if I didn't, that's when I realized you have to clean out your belly button, because, you know, stick my finger in my belly button, and then be like, oh, oh my God, your belly, so your belly button stinks, you know, I learned when I was a kid, like, your belly button stinks if you don't blatantly wash it out, and y'all, he smelled like the way that that my belly button was smell when I was a little kid. And so, you know, I'm sure that was with sweat and kid smell and everything. That smell and grown man smell and throw up. And just, oh, y'all, he smelled so bad. Y'all, I can't even, words can't even describe. I told my wife, I said, baby, that kid smells so bad that he smells so bad that he would turn straight women gay. That's how bad he stinks. And he was a fine young man. Anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. My wife is calling. So I didn't get, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, hmm, I didn't get anything to drink when I was in Walmart. But this, these sodas here are two dollars and fifty cents. So I mean, they, that's about why they are at Walmart. So but check this out. So I came by here earlier, and I had noticed when I got back from eating that there was there was a suddenly like a toy hanging from the sink, and and you know I was thinking like that's weird because it wasn't there yesterday when I when I came through. So. I, you know, I walk over, I'm like, what is that hanging from that? So I walk over and I look, and somebody has won a toy, won a prize, that orange thing back there. And they stuck it because these things have, like, sticky things on the, on the, uh, the window. So I got a stuffed animal because, you know, I acquired Trope of Vines. And then check this out. So I get ready to walk, I walk over here to see, you know, to, to look at the little balls, you know what I mean? And I look, and there is a brand new Kit Kat. Brand new Kit Kat, right? Sitting right there. It's the Kit Kat. That big Kit Kat. So I come over here, and somebody has left me a toy and a big Kit Kat, folks. I mean, is the trail providing or what? So I'm wondering just how hard it is to pick up one of these things. So I'm about, I got all these quarters, right? I got quarters. And I don't got $2.50 quarters. So I either gotta, you know, not get a soda or get one with my arm. You can use a credit card or their debit card, whatever, either one. So I, I gotta get rid of these quarters because I mean, I'm clearly not carrying these around. 
but uh, huh. here's the old quarter. I always try to keep those. Yeah, it's not old to me, but that's what they say. Oh, that's an old quarter. No, it's not. It's a quarter from my childhood. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna try to get one of these, and we'll see if we can can win us one, another one. There's some little kids. To, I've been playing with them in the hallway. <laughs> if, I, if I could give me three of them or get me two more to here, then I could give all the kids one. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, let's see if I can win one. Alright, y'all. Well, I just need y'all to understand that I'm not even sure how these people even got this thing because they're very, very heavy. I played it twice. I went after this and you can always tell when you try one if they're too heavy and it and i don't even know why i didn't think about it because i have one in that orange it is heavy i know i gotta carry it um i might just give it to those little kids but the uh that i was going for that blue one because it's real pretty and it's like one of my favorite colors blue man it didn't even budge and i got them right in the perfect spot so that it's you know if they're not too heavy it would have picked it up yeah, it is too heavy. So, you know. But, it was fun try. You can try one of these. You see, you see, look, and these are easier because they're lighter. You just got to line them up. And you can see on each side of this container, right? And so, you know, it's not hard to get a ball. But look how much these are. Yeah. That one over here is 50 cent. Of course it's going to be 50 cent. They know, hey, you, they more likely to, you got a good chance of actually getting one of those. Right. And those are, those are, you know, if you line it up right, you could get one of those. But I'm not giving them a dollar. Look at that, that's 50 cent a play. I might, maybe I'll come back and ride a motorcycle. Be like, <laughs>